Big Trouble with Simple Machines by Nathan Schreiber. Chapter 2 Between a Wedge and a Hard Place. Ooh, a treasure chest. The walls are made of heavy stone. Except for this part. Looks like steel. Give it a knock. Is there an echo? <laughs> Sounds pretty thick, but there's something behind it. The way out is probably through that steel sheet. Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> well, that didn't work. But at least I got the chest open. Two triangles. They look like cake slices made out of diamonds. They look sharp. Those are wedges. It's all making sense now. A wedge is one of the six simple machines. Machines? Like robots? Simple machines don't have power sources, but they redirect force and use mechanical advantage to make work seem easier. A wedge is just two inclined planes stacked against each other. And like an inclined plane, a wedge redirects applied force. When you apply a force to the broad end, the wedge pushes at right angles to the inclined planes. If May pounded a big wedge, we could apply substantial force to the steel sheet and pierce right through it. But this wedge is too small. We can't apply enough force. But we could use the diamond wedges to carve a bigger wedge out of this titanium base. And I'm guessing you're not going to be the one carving this thing. Well, that just wouldn't be an efficient use of our personnel. I'll supervise. We'll make our wedge wide enough that May can hit it hard, but it needs to be as long as possible. We measure a wedge's mechanical advantage by its length divided by its width. It's just like an inclined plane. The longer the wedge, the better the mechanical advantage. It's obvious. The sharper the wedge, the easier it cuts through something. Looks good. Hold the wedge with the pointy end against the steel so May can drive it in. May, I used my shirt to cushion the place where you punch. That way it won't hurt your hand. Thanks. You punch through, me. Groovy. Ooh, ooh, I want to go out first. See any sandwiches out there? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs>